Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode here on the Minecraft server with 7 days to die. I don't, if I, guys, I don't know if I showed you guys my farm after I uh, I upgraded some. I added a whole other row of potatoes and corn. Uh, there's 30 per row too, so if you pick all of these, it's 180 potatoes, is that right? Oh man, what happened here? I had this thing all the way to the end. Um, so as I came into town, uh, if you guys remember last episode, we were we were making our way back from the little adventure we had been on. Um, as I came into town, I noticed that the man, <laughs> the blueberries are the worst to grow, really, because uh, they, you know, oh damn it, <laughs> failure. Um, you only get two seeds out. The same as with the cotton, though, actually. All right. I noticed that the working stiff had respawned over here. At least some of it. So let's go check that out. I've got the um, the sledgehammer on my bar. Swinging, it's really slow though. So I don't know if this is a viable attack method against a zombie. I just don't know. I'm gonna try it out though. I might get myself killed with it, honestly. So we'll see. We'll see what's up. So I want to talk about the state of North Carolina. This is going to be a controversial episode, and I apologize in advance for any controversy that, or anything you might feel in your loins or... Well, I guess it hasn't all respawned. It's partially respawned. Okay. This crate had respawned, which has nothing in it. Oh, fucking hell. Well, this sucks. Oh, wait, no, this one's unrespawned, un too. And this one. It's kind of random. Um, the state of North Carolina recently passed this really dumb law. I wish I could remember what it's called. It's like HB2 or some shit. I don't remember. I can't remember what it's called, actually. Uh, but the point is, the law is to prevent, it's to demand that you enter whatever restroom that you were born sexually as. So, like, if I was born a woman. I would have to use the woman's restroom, regardless of what's changed in my life since then. The state has said you can change your birth certificate, but not all states allow that, um, depending on where you were born. So if you're a North Carolina resident born in a state that doesn't allow you to change your birth certificate, that's that's really not an option. Um, they've gone so far because, you know, parents kind of made a big deal about this. Like, well, you know, I, I need to, my, my daughter or son goes into the restroom with me. Uh, I mean, it's obviously the opposite type of restroom um, because they're young. So they've, they've updated it since then to put an age on, on, on that type of activity. So once my daughter reaches the age of eight, she's required to now use the bathroom alone um, or, you know, without me, unless there's a family restroom or whatever. Um, so, I mean... I think anyone that's a fan of mine is going to probably agree that this is really ignorant, uh, this law. It, uh, you know, the arguments I've heard is to, you know, stop predators and that sort of thing. But the truth is, if someone's going to break the law, they're going to break the law. If they're going to rape your child, this bathroom law is not going to prevent them from doing that. Um, <laughs> you know, that this is not, this is not, that, that's not the type of person you're going to protect yourself from with the, this type of legislation. Um, what I want to complain about is not only just the law, which I do think is really fucking ignorant. Um, I want to also complain about some of the things that's happened since then uh, with with different m types of entertainers. Um, so so since the law has has come into effect, there's been quite a few bands and stuff that have said I'm not I'm not going to perform in the state of North Carolina anymore. I'm going to cancel my concert. Um, and you know that's that's fine. That's up to them to decide. Um, but I don't agree with it, and uh, kind of want to talk about that. Um, you know, there's been companies that have said we don't want to set up shop here now, now based on what's you know based on this law. And I think that's reasonable. I mean, we're talking about you know like PayPal was going to set up an office here in North Carolina, and they decided no, you know we're not going to do that. And I think the reason there, there's a couple of reasons why that makes sense. Um, by setting up business here in the state, you're bringing money into the state, right? So they're actually supporting the economy of North Carolina, and um, you know it makes sense that you know if you don't agree with the type of laws that the state has passed, that you're not going to want 
to support that economy. So that makes sense to me. The other thing is that you don't want, you know, you might have employees that need to transfer into the state to work that are already your employees, and you don't want to set up shop in a state that that's going to require, you know, you to have a certain type of employee, um, you know, if that makes sense. So I can get behind companies like PayPal or any of the other companies that basically said we're not going, we're no longer, we're canceling our plans to expand into the state. It's not something that's going to work for us and our, you know, the way we run our company. That makes sense. I can totally get behind that. Um, you know, this isn't the first time that North Carolina has done some dumb shit like this. Before um, it was a federal decision that uh, gay marriage is something that's allowed, uh, North Carolina tried to completely ban it, make it illegal to, uh, you know, regardless inside of the state of North Carolina. Um, so it's not the first time that I've been embarrassed by some of the legislation my state has passed, but, you know, I've done everything I can to prevent this type of stuff by, by voting. You know, I don't, I don't miss my chance to vote. I've always voted, and I've, I've tried my best to, to vote for the people that, you know, are going to represent the type of views and the type of state I would love for my child to grow up in. Um, so, you know, this type of thing isn't something that's within my control at least I can there's no, no more I could do beyond what I've already done um, other than maybe you know something like this this video talking about it um, or talking to people you know in the in the area that that, that might not have the same views and maybe change their mind or or whatever um, but beyond that there's not there's not a lot I could do I mean I am a business owner in the state and I have been a business owner in the state for over 10 years you know depending on which business you speak of um, and if I did not have such heavy ties to the state, you know, so much land owned and all that sort of thing, I would consider, you know, leaving the state. I mean, it is a, uh, you know, it's very rare that, like, in my county that, uh, that my vote really matters, for example, because, you know, I mean, it matters. You know, you're making, you're casting your vote. Um, it's being counted, but it's, it's going up against a, a, a sea of, of, of votes the other direction in most cases. So, um, you know, that's just something that, that, I've I've come to terms with, um, but you know I, I it's not really something I have the option. I can't just up and move and uh, and leave the state. Um, but I would not. I would I would you know go with like PayPal and these other companies that and, and not set up shop here currently. Um, but what I want to talk about is the bands that have been canceling their concerts in the state since since this all passed. Um, and there's three that come to mind, and there's also Michael Moore has asked that his movie not be screened in North Carolina. And this is where I have a fault with those people. I mean, I still, I still agree that they are right that North Carolina has passed some backward ass shit, but I don't agree with their decision to no longer perform here. And here's why. Like I said just a second ago, one of the few things I can do to change this is to talk about it. You know, there's there's you guys that are listening to me right now, and I'm assuming if you're listening to me and you're subscribed to my channel, you somewhat respect my opinion. You may not always agree with it, and that's fine. There's there's I mean that's that's the world we live in. Not everyone has the same opinions, and that's good. It's a good thing. Um, you know, if you have a backward ass opinion like uh, the state of North Carolina, that's not a good thing. That's kind of a bad thing, but it's still okay to have an, your backward ass opinion. <laughs> um. But, uh, weird cut there. I had to uh, deal with something really quick. Um, so, anyways, as I was saying here, uh, and I don't remember exactly where I was at in my points here, but I'm going to try to, uh, to carry on with my, my dialogue here. Um, there's several bands that have decided to cancel their concert in the state since, uh, since then. Um, and this is where I start to have a trouble understanding. Um, and the reason why is these are bands that are respected by the people that are going to attend their concerts. By canceling their concert in the state, they're, they're not really affecting the state, which is who decided to pass this law. They're affecting their fans. Um, and I guess the logic here is that they expect their fans to then change the legislation, you know, by not voting these type of people in in the future. I personally believe that you can make a much greater change with your fans by attending your event 
and speaking directly to them. You know, this is, they're passing up an opportunity where a large group of people that highly respect them have already spent money to come and listen to them. And, you know, it's not just listening to their music. Um, a lot of the concerts I've been at, you know, the bands will push whatever agenda is important to them. It's it's happened happens all the time. It's not, this is not something that's out of left field or anything. This is pretty common. Um, if, if you've ever been to a Counting Crows concert, the amount of charity work that uh, is pushed on you there is, you know, above and beyond anything else I've ever experienced. Um, and I'm not complaining about this, just to be clear. Um, so I don't understand why uh, Bruce Springsteen, Brian Adams, Boston, and Pearl Jam have decided that instead of coming to the state and talking to the people that respect them highly, they're just not going to show up at all. What is this? What the fuck is that? Why all the wedges? I guess you can shoot through them at the... I wonder whose stuff this is. Um, nice little farm here. I haven't, I haven't really gone around town in a little while since... Uh, what is that? What the fuck is that? Oh, I bet that's the concrete mixer, isn't it? Cement mixer, it sure is. Huh. Oh, you can make sand from stone now. That's brilliant. Okay, I guess I need to make me a cement mixer. And this house is very, very bright with all these uh, torches. I guess everyone's gone to torches now because... Um, I don't know why I'm trying to... I'm, I'm not going to loot anything in this house because that would be stealing. I'm just going to look in their things. <laughs> um, and, you know, I've been a fan of Pearl Jam a long, long, long time. Um, I've bought every CD they've ever put out. I've only seen them in concert once. Um... And the time when I saw them in concert is whenever they were uh, in a squabble with Ticketmaster over ticket sales. And so they started selling their own tickets, and they weren't performing at concerts that, you know, Ticketmaster required. The, the tickets had to be bought through Ticketmaster. So I've seen them do these type of things in the past where, you know, they make a decision and they go up against uh, whatever issue that, you know, the, the, they're, they're not okay with. And I think that they, you know, their decision to not come here is has upset me more than any of the other ones because the other bands were I was really fans of um, and it's not like I was going to be seeing Pearl Jam when they were here that I'm gonna be at PAX East so it's not like I'm missing out on a concert or something as a result of this it's just uh, surprising to me because to me it would make more sense first off to just come and, and speak to the people and try to you know tell these people you know you need to it's it's on you to make sure that your state fixes its shit um, and or do the best you can. I mean, there's only so much you can do. I mean, look at just look at how the election process goes in this in the United States. I mean, anyone that has followed along with this presidential election knows that the shit is it's not really open and fair. It's kind of fucked up, um, but it is what it is, you know. And you just have to work with what you got or try to change it, which people have been trying to do. But it's pretty. You get, there's a lot of pushback on that in that regard. Um, so. Program could come, they could talk to the people, and if they if it's not about the money, because they you know they're obviously refunding all these tickets that they 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 sold and are now giving back, so it's not about the money, right? Um, so th that money could now go to any organization that actually supports the type of thing that we're trying to change here, um, which there's tons of in-state organizations that are working towards that. So if they really wanted to make a change in the state of North Carolina, that would have been the right thing to do. To me, it feels more like they want public they want publicity that not that doesn't just resonate with inside the state of North Carolina. Pearl Jam decided to cancel their concert with 48 hours notice. So there's there's a lot of people that I mean, who knows to, to what degree people have been put out by that decision. Um, you know, there's probably people that uh, were traveling from out of state, not even not even North Carolina residents, you know. Um, so there's, there's, there's some of those, I'm sure. Um, there's people that have bought hotels and whatever. And by screwing those people, you're not changing any laws or anything. You're just fucking people over that were your fans and respected you. Um, 
And early on, I was talking about how, you know, these businesses like PayPal or whatever are bringing money into the state. For the majority part, these concerts are taking money out of the state when you think about it because Pearl Jam is not a resident of North Carolina. Um, so whatever money is generated from this concert is for the most part leaving the state. Now there is of course going to be some local taxes from the vendors and the event, you know, that 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 does happen. Um, but for the most part, the money is leaving the state. Now, I mean, you got to keep in mind too when I'm talking about money leaving the state. There's also uh, local restaurants and all those sort of things. So those things, those people are being are being affected, and and they're the type of people that that can help change change the direction that North Carolina goes in the future. So those are the pros, so to speak, of of canceling this, you know, their their event and, and putting all these people out is, um, you know, it's not just the concert goers that are affected. There are other businesses that are affected that, you know, that will no longer want to vote for the type of people that um, put their livelihood at stake. But all in all, I think that, uh, you know, Michael Moore, Pearl Jam, Boston, Bruce Springsteen, Brian Adams, it, for the most part, are just playing this out because they get publicity out of it. Um, I hate to say that uh, because uh, several of the people I just listed I respect. But that's, all, that's what it feels like to me. I'm just being honest. Um, you know, when I talk about Pearl Jam, I talk about how they've, you know, I've, I've, I've watched them do lots of things that in the past that, you know, they were on the right side of, in my opinion. So it's hard for me to say uh, you know, they're just doing a publicity stunt here or whatever. But when you look at some of these other bands, they still perform in countries where if you're gay, you're murdered in the street. So what the fuck? Like, how does that make any sense? How does it make sense to to not to not come to this concert or perform, you know, for, for this group of, of bigots, but you perform for a whole country of them? So that's another occasion where I kind of call bullshit on their whole moral compass here, and it's not its not just about their bank account at the end of the day on what can make me the most amount of publicity and get as much attention as possible. Um, so yeah, there's, there's my opinions on North Carolina's recent laws and and the people that are the advocates or whatever words you want to award to them for the people that are trying to change this, um, yeah. yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I'd be interested in, in what you guys have to say. Just try to keep it civil. Um, I try not to have these conversations that often, just because I don't. I'm sure there are people that uh, feel strongly about who's going to what bathroom. <laughs> uh, and the truth is, for the most part, the people that are transgendered are still going to keep going to the same bathroom they were already going to. And no one's going to know the difference. This is not something that, this is not a subject that we even need to be talking about. It's not, there's not an issue here. This is the fact that my tax dollars, emergency fucking meeting was called, bringing people in whenever they're supposed to be at home. So, of course, it costs even more tax dollars. To bring these fucking idiots in to have an emergency meeting on this issue. It's just, it's just depressing. It's sad. <laughs> it's just, it's just, uh, ah, things. Things are messed up sometimes. But anyways... I think uh, I think we have a short episode today. I don't want to I don't want to talk about a lot of things and then switch up the subject here. So I think that's going to be the only t subject of discussion in today's particular episode. We kind of got a little tour of our town here. Um, I don't know if this is oh, it is available. Oh 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 oh! There's a new a new thing. All right, let's see what we got here. Dear Survivor, if you found this note, then you know my crew and I have been watching you from afar. 
You're pretty good at survival, but let's see if you can pass this test and just maybe you can join our clan. Challenge. Kill a screamer zombie. So, here's the thing about that. Whenever earlier, um, the first day we were playing, Doc or somebody got one of these. I don't remember who it was. I think it was Anders, actually, now that I'm saying it. And once he accepted it, he had, like, a time limit. Like, you gotta do this in two minutes or whatever. So, I'm not gonna accept that right away. I'm gonna wait until I see a Screamer Zombie, and then I will accept it. Um, and then we will murder them. Uh, I'm going to clean all this mess up here before too long, so don't you worry too much about it. Because um, a lot of this is just junk, and we can easily see that. Um, I'm going to keep this extra anvil. Where do I have those at now? It'd be weird if it was in those two chests that I opened. Why would you... Oh, wait, the military fiber, I forgot about that. Oh, I already have one anvil. Well, now I have two. Um, same with these calipers here. We actually have a whole other set now, basically. <laughs> and they just keep growing. <laughs> need to pay attention here. Uh, let's grab that. I don't know what I did with my TVs from last episode. Oh, there they are. 14 TVs. I think I think you can make these now, though. If so, I don't need to care about them so much. No, I guess not. Huh, I really thought you could. I guess you can just pick up the big ones now is the difference. Which, that's fair enough. Um, let's scrap this now. And that. Probably can make better of half of those now, actually. Um, Alright, well there's our, our, our haul for the day. I think we're doing pretty good. I'm getting hot. I gotta get, gotta get naked. Naked up in here. Alright. So that'd be cool down. Yep. Um, I do appreciate you guys watching, as always. Like I said, I try to keep it uh, civil in the comments. Leave a like if you've enjoyed this particular episode. I'm sorry if I've offended anyone with my views and opinions, but they are my views and opinions, and um, I did want to share them with you. I appreciate you guys watching, as always, and I will see you all in the next episode. Bye-bye, everybody.